It is your presence and vigilance that has brought us this far. So everybody go back to the polling station, observe the process, be vigilant, stand your ground, and ensure that the right thing is done. Of international and local observer shops intensify their monitoring and our supporters and other betrothed Ghanaians should ensure that the ballot boxes, when they are being escorted, they follow them. We find it very strange that there's been an instruction, we've intercepted a communication that is telling the police not to escort ballot boxes. That's very unusual. Why is it that they don't want the police to escort the ballot boxes? Ballot boxes are always supposed to be escorted by a security official, the police. So why that instruction that they should not escort the ballot boxes? So citizens of Ghana rise up, follow the ballot boxes on motorbikes, on bicycle, on, on, on drone, with drones, with cars, follow the ballot boxes. Wherever the ballot boxes are going, follow them to the coalition centre. Follow the entire process. And everybody should stay vigilant. Victory is almost at hand, but we cannot afford to relax. Another issue which we wish to raise is the low deployment of security personnel, particularly in the Ashanti region, areas like Kwabre, Efija Kwabre, etc. I mean, you see that there is a deliberate low deployment of security personnel, and we believe that it's an attempt to create opportunity for ballot snatching and all those nefarious activities. Look, genuine policemen, genuine security people, we know they will not be part of this nonsense. So genuine policemen and genuine security men defend the nation of Ghana. Stand up for what is right. You will be vindicated. And citizens rise up and ensure that the right thing is done. The citizens are more than the fake police. The citizens are more than those few fake police. Even the genuine police people, they will not condone those things. So when the citizen supports them, the right thing will be done. Ensure that the right things are done. Follow every movement. We understand that, and I, and I think I've mentioned it, um, the APP constituency chairman for Cabre is the one behind the ballot staffing, working closely with Chairman Wun to me on this. There's been many other incidents as well. I would to Senya East. The same how Akumsin again, the same how Akumsin again sent talks to go and attack our member of parliament, our, our parliamentary candidate, incoming member of parliament. And there was a shooting incident. Two people have been seriously injured. One is at 37 now, struggling for his life. This is a journalist and a party. One of your own. One of your own. Is it true or not? Has been injured. This say how if she had been sanctioned the first time she engaged in that activity, perhaps we won't be here today. So sometimes when they do those things and we speak. Don't keep quiet. It is not an MPP NDC matter. It's about security. It's about the stability of the state. Today is one of your own. You never know tomorrow who it will be. So it's important that we are consistent and we speak again those days. And so we call for intensification of security to forestall a repetition. And she has to be held accountable. And let me also commend the police. They've provided security protection for our MP now. She has security because she was attacked in the house. So they've provided a security in the house, and she also has security escorts. But they could have preempted it. So the victory of the NDC is coming. Again, the sign. Call on Ghanaians who haven't voted yet to go out and vote. Cast your vote now for number two. And stay at the station after the voting to observe the process. Follow the ballot box, please. It's important. Because we find it very strange that at this late stage, Instructions will be issued that the security should not follow. Well, that's not. That's not. That's not the norm. That's that's very weird. So follow the values, and we want our agents to be very alert. NDC agents to be very very alert when it comes to the ballot accounting. The number of ballots issued must reflect what is in the ballot box. Anything short that that don't sign the pin sheet. It means that the foreign materials have been brought in, into into the into the equation. Don't. You have been trained already. You know what to do. So insist on the right thing. You know. Again, in circle, attempted ballot stuffing by a lady, printed for MPP and Nana Kufado. Those arrested should not be released. We have to deal with them for once. 
people who engage in these infractions, they have to be dealt with, and they must show us the source so that we can nip these things in the bud once and for all. So our people in the Volta region too, we hear it's going on well, um, but we shouldn't relax. From this time onwards, a lot of funny things may happen. Thank you very much. This is Angel. Thank you. I think you, you forgot about the political issue of multiple voting, which with um, um, with with lodged an official complaint to the electoral commission um, relative to that. Uh, Mr. Screaman, can we see a copy of the complaint on the screen so that the media can um, take notes accordingly? Um, in Klote Kole, an assembly member, as a matter of fact, the presiding member who participated in the special voting process. This is Angel 102.9. That voting. Uh, we understand that this is not an, an isolated case. A lot of people who participated in the special voting are voting again today. This is um, indisputable evidence without effect. We have officially lodged a complaint to the Electoral Commission about this, that how could this happen since we, um, I mean, we, 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 we use biometric verification machines in our voting process? How is it possible that somebody will vote on December 1st and still vote on December 7th without the system detecting it? And so it is something we need to uh, take note of and follow keenly. Our deputy general secretary, deputy campaigns, uh, campaign manager, um, Peter Putukono will add a few issues and then we will wrap it up. Thank you. Election eye. It is Election eye. We have one hour to follow up from the presentation on the screen. If you would recall, we made this point very strongly that we have identified some names in the special voters register and they appear on the main certified register as well. And for that matter, if steps are not taken to deal with those names, those individuals could vote twice because the systems that they have deployed, which is the means, we have you do not covered. communicate with each other. And according to them, they have programmed the device to work within 24 hours. So if you appear on the special voters register with your QR code, you could easily be scanned and you will vote on the 1st December. And if your name is on the main register as well, you could easily be scanned on 7th December, which is today, and vote. We raised this point and made it very strongly. But as it has been the case, most often we do not take some of these matters serious in the media and push for the right thing to be done. Here is a very typical example. This tells you how defective the new system the Electoral Commission have put in place is the kind of loopholes that we think has deliberately been created to save a desperate losing fallen Akufuado from losing this election. I think this is bizarre and it undermines the entire electoral process that we have. The election I. The election Having I. said that, we have you there are a few issues that I think that it's important we draw your attention to and we recount and follow deeply. We have received reports from Ayawasu Central that the police station called New Haven. Instead of the police station being on the streets, they have moved the polling boats into the house of the member of parliament and recording the deputy minister of national security. Election All eye. attempts Election by agents eye. and we officials who were there to prevent them proved futile. We laid the report to the national headquarters of the electoral commission they have spoken to the district uh, officer. As it stands now, still the action is going on. And it is important that we draw your attention to it so that you move there because we have established procedure for voting.
we have rules and regulations that govern it, that it governs the positioning of police stations. So those rules and regulations must be followed to the core. And any attempt to undermine or overthrow those rules and regulations in the interest of the MPP should be resisted. This morning, I was in Sumu to do some monitoring. And information was picked that a few hoodlums who are fully weaponized with various forms of assault rifle were lodged in some hotel. They had apparently been brought in by the member of parliament uh, for the MPP. The citizens out of vigilance, the citizens out of their awareness, the citizens out of the charge they have put upon themselves evaded the hotel and they were able this to is get is 10 Angel, young men who were fully armed and they called in the police to arrest them. Guess what? After they arrested the, this gentleman with the weapons, I left there just under an hour. I was called that the district, the district chief executive had just gone in, just the district chief executive, and they have released these 30 young men to go and continue with their nefarious criminal activities. The election and that is very the election I we call on the ITV to, as a matter of agency and as a matter of importance, to follow this matter at Sumu and speak to the district commander so that those individuals who were arrested will be brought to book. Wherever they have been released to, we must follow them and make sure that they are arrested. It is very important for the sanctity of the process. It is very important for the peaceful elections that we all so yearn for. Then one other very significant point which uh, my senior comrade and the director of elections raised about the ballot papers in the Ashanti region. Indeed, yesterday when we addressed the press, we were calling it a perceived information or intel that there are ballot papers that have been stamped, that have been completed, and they are around we have in the system, covered. mostly in the Ashanti region. And the idea is that they will stamp the ballot papers. This is a very typical evidence that the, 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 the intel we got yesterday was very, very, very correct. How will anybody be able to assess the EC stamp? At IPAC, when we had discussions on things like this, they told us that the stamps that they are going to use, you will not even know the stamps. No agents, no officer will know the stamp. It is only the EC officials because of the security nature of the stamp. So how did they get the stamp? How did they get the ballot papers? These are very important questions that Jim Mensah and the people must answer. Enough of what the, the, the EC has done well. The EC has done well. You can never do well when the materials that you are using, the fundamental materials, the pillar, the pillar of the election, the security material that you are using for your election, is out there and is in the hands of the MPP. What is the integrity in the process? What are the core values of the Electoral Commission? Fairness, transparency, integrity. These are three core values, three core principles that exist in the world that has been raped by Jim Mensa and the team than any other principle, their own principles. So these are issues that we have to, you know, deal with moving forward. Then one other important issue is that there are some places where our agents have been asked to sit far away from where the electoral activity is taking place. Indeed, it is important that we send this message through the media so that every agent who is listening to us now, you are supposed to sit with the electoral officers and observe every single activity that they are doing, including whose picture appears on the device when the QR code is scanned. If you do not do that, somebody can come and vote in somebody's name because, as we said yesterday, the system has been designed with a loophole that can allow somebody to vote for somebody. So all agents must get close to their tables. Then last but not the least, it is advised that the kind of thumbprint, the, the, the thumbprint ink that we are using, yesterday we raised it here. The Electoral Commission on our blind side just decided to use the stamp pad as the voting pad. Meanwhile, there are specially designed voting inks that are used. The reason is that the voting pad that we have used in the past, they come in very deep and thick. 
So immediately you put your thumbprint on it, it comes very thick. And when you thumbprint, it stays there for a long time. The stamp pad and the type of ink and chemicals that are used, they easily fade. And in this case, it is not even consistent. In some areas, it is yellow. In some areas, it is red. In some areas, it is blue. In some areas, it is wine. So what are we doing? No standardization. So how will we be able to determine if somebody go and bring foreign material and drops it in the ballot box? How would we be able to determine? These are some of the preparatory flocks that the Electoral Commission has imposed upon itself. Now, what, the, what is appearing is that because of the light nature of the stamp parts which we are using to vote, if you sanitize your hand immediately before you go and vote, you are unable to get the ink very well. And within some time, it vanishes. And this is simple chemistry. So we are advising as much as possible those who are voting in this last minute. When you go to the police station, please wash your hand. Do not use the sanitizer. Finish voting. This is when you finish voting, you can use the sanitizer. This is a very important public notice to all of our people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Angel 102.9. Well, um, you are called the national headquarters of the NDC. Now, how uh, the NDC man you could address it press no no more by extension and come in now. And there might be a air cost or ya own see a decay kind. Say, there might be a cost of your money you know, make a matter. And yes, indeed, yeah. Um, Concerns need be any say police for uh, escort election materials, no? Mm -hmm. Um, from Kwame Nkrumah, Brasso, you see name, you know, uh, police for uh, escort electoral materials, but wait, dear, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you and uh, police deployment, you know, a uh, very low, our uh, form, our mm -hmm. uh, form, and uh, no, uh, as someone will cry, I'm going to say how it comes in constituency, you know, to do a air cost, you know, how it comes in there, you know, I'm going Time at the C and the Adian Yanas Yanchi and Chima Mio Mami Ancheno and Nakofo Yaba. No, must we do a Santi regional? A Santi region. Bam. A Hona Chama wound to me, the governor. Oh, ho. Adia Tun Hosso and Oko Quabre Easter or Nick Quabre, Chairman Neo Hona Kaboom and a ballot box or so more stuffy stuffy. And no, no, uh, what to send this press conference on your board Chama wound to me, Dean a womb, a ho. And who wants them? Oh, I have come. Man, so I'm not sure. I'm going to me. Yet, the Komoka Krabi Asante Regional Chairman, the man of the New Patriotic Party. Chairman, um, my Mao, aha, and there, every day. Mira. Now, who put me here? Now, who put them? I don't put five bones. Now, Santi man, ten months. So, at the same. Now, who put them? I don't put five bones. Now, every day, I am coming. She, we are on end. This, I'm on your court on Saturday. One more year press conference, oh, national headquarters, yeah, koya. So, boom, what do you bow? And say, what do you say? Yeah, Santi, as a demon, tell me what you bow, and so, and to a more fair, or more supporters, and also be on for an India Batonaji, because only a chairman be a walk, I bear a car boom, ballot boxes, we know more stuff, fist stuff, and yeah, dear, and only quite do a more bow, as a demon, tell me. Yo, Mira, my men shall, that they are tossed so be all the sort I'm um, going to say a diversional parties and normal person who play. Now, see, see, I'm not TV way. A smart 8K. A Netflix. A YouTube. And a face. How you go? And you send the boss to be a go. Cup up. Young Concord promo. It's a more price. No, I easy. Oh, machine way. A energy saving. A sign keeping me normal fresh side by side. Fridge in here. Freezer so soon here. Now we man told. Cap farm, young con con promo no. We told TV no at easy price. And you do so so check. Wow! Cap farm, young con con promo no ti. I was your phone in if you cry, we come in no. Six burner gas oven. Ne bo fu fu fu. Chicken inside. We told any assigned chairman. Rice cooker. Cap farm at the home appliances ne so. Na chani yeni di baby, manya mu blender, manya mu kettle, masai manya mu microwave oven. Kafu miyam koko a promo no. Aya se wakoto angamu ni acho banku ni nam akamu. Chocho fucho, duani yende kushiyegu aji manda se ever say di di ayi.
What will TV we? And you're smart. 8K. And you Netflix. ANS Trading Agency Limited. Yet my Yapaya, door to door Korea service. I had different London or Yuma Chrome, and I say, you know, baby, I'm going to say, 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 i am going to say 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 I the whole Ghana. So, I say, we are to and we are going to be here. We are the best. Wow, this boy is great. Now, I want to say, 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 I want to E wo nye ni nwo bitu se. Omega 3 fatty acids. Vitamins a hu duo pi. E ne glutamic acid da. E bwa ma mo fra a kini mo don. Ne sa ma wapo mo den. Brenex syrup. Ube nye bi wo drugstore e be yi wo mo. Ne du duo mo die. Frejukad pharmacy. E wo an kray. O kaishi drug lane. E wo 0244-560-296. Brenex syrup. E mamo fra a jini mo po mo den. E si pi, e si ta. E di e, a she she sa e jye di en kratwe yi mo. A jye a tu mo se, e jye. Hello, welcome to Yonak Digital. Here, we deal in security locks, smart locks, intelligent locks, which are ideal for corporate institutions, for banks, real estate, Forex Bureau, and many more. Here at Yonak, we have a variety of locks. This is our facial recognition lock barometric lock. This is a little barometric lock. It's ideal for front aluminum glass doors. You can locate Yonak Digital at Wager SEC Junction off the DVLA road. Call us on 0553-892370 or WhatsApp us on 0507-242299. Yonak Digital, security in style. Boring times, not anymore. A power pack African exclusive entertainment served at your doorstep only on Top Hub. Just log on to your browser and type tophubonline.com. Sign up and enjoy. Or get the app from the App Store or the Google Play Store and be ready for an African experience like never before. Top Hub, the new definition of home entertainment. My name is Charity and you're watching Kofi TV.